Hi, I'm Rob Van Egmond, Vice President of Exploration for Dolly Varden Silver. And today I'm going to be explaining our last news release. Um, um, it was results from our Homestake Ridge area. So just to uh, recap, last news release was from the southern end here, our silver zones from uh, Wolf and then some exploration. Um, and, and remember this eastern side of the valley and in the south is where our silver deposits are. And today's re re release is from up in the northern part of the property. So about five and a half kilometers to the north and a little bit more to the west. We have Homestake Ridge made up of the Homestake Main and Homestake Silver deposit. So right in here. And that's across a different set of structures that run up the valley. So compared to Wolf, they're, they're, those are structures that run across the valley. Homestake Main and Silver are um, higher level. They contain more gold. Homestake Silver is gold dominant, even though it's called Homestake Silver, it's just because it has a little more silver in it than Homestake Main. Our current mineral resource at Homestake is about a million ounces of gold and about 18 million ounces of silver. So we'll get a closer look here at what this last drilling means. All right, so here we are. We're zoomed in on Homestake Ridge. Uh, we have our Homestake main deposit where the majority of gold ounces are hosted. And this summer, summer of 2024, we focused in on Homestake Silver. So it was a combination of step out drilling. We had uh, had a few high grade gold silver zones that were still open to the north and south and to depth and also some infill drilling. So in the area central to the deposit where we had done some uh, infill last year and we've found these wider zones of, uh, of multiple pulses of veins and vein breccias containing gold and silver. So we were expanding out that wider high grade zone. Um, but the results, um, the headline result is from the northern end here. So hole 431 in this area. And so stepping out to the north, we're working our way towards Homestake, Maine. The, the two deposits line up on a northwest trending structure, sub-vertical. And we're trying to join Homestake Silver to Homestake, Maine, or at least follow that high grade plunge down and, and see if it connects to Maine. So we're taking steps and it looks like um, things are continuing at depth. One thing that did come out of our drilling the previous year was off to the east here, we found a, a new lens of higher grade silver uh, and gold mineralization. And that's where the highlight is from, is where we intercepted that. That was um, 8.72 meters, uh, grading 21 and a half grams gold and about 27 grams silver. So what it's doing is it's basically stepping over onto a parallel structure, it looks like. We do have results from um, the main Homestake silver deposit in this area. So those infill results just show that that plunge is continuous from our 2023 drilling. And we're following that out to the north. We also um, hit the northern end of that main plunge. So part of our drilling in 2024 was uh, stepping out to the north. We're uh, looking at joining Homestake Main and Homestake Silver. So, the, so Homestake Silver is coming up from the south. There's always been a gap uh, in between the two because the older drilling was at a higher level. And so that plunge uh, goes down underneath that. But we can switch over to the long section. All right, so here we have a long section of, of Homestake Silver mainly. And then you can see Homestake Main off to the right side there. So north is off to the right. And, and in yellow here, this is what we show in our news releases and, and on our website is this is the, the plunge of the higher grade, wider silver and gold mineralization at Homestake Silver. And so when I say the old drilling was up above it, that was in between Homestake Main and Homestake Silver. So it was always thought they weren't connected. But what we're doing with these step outs is we're following this down, the projection of it, and we're trying to expand it out and show that it's along the same structure as Maine. So there might be a number of these steps uh, wh where there's sort of folds in the structure and that creates a low angle plunge like that. So again, that whole 433 and 431, 
the headline holes in our news release are down in this area. <clears throat> and it just shows that it lines up with that, uh, that plunge. So it's expanding it to the north. Uh, and then the infill was in this area. You can see these, the, the, the green holes are the ones that we drilled in 2024. So some of those results there <clears throat> um, from that central zone just show that that wider plunge exists all the way through. And then we did uh, some deeper step outs, um, <clears throat> both below the deposit in this area and then as well as, as below the projection. And we see the mineralization, or sorry, we see the, the alteration zone within the structure there. So the structure does continue. And uh, on our follow-up this coming season, we'll be, we'll be moving up and down this, this sort of projection and seeing if we can find that same uh, plunge continuing to depth. And then the, the holes beneath, um, they were narrower, but still fairly high grade. Um, again, this wide zone is made up of a wide alteration zone, you know, anywhere from 30 to 100 meters wide. Uh, and then within that you have like two meter wide, 50 centimeter wide, very high grade breccias and breccia veins coming through. So that's what we see when we, in those hits down below here on hole 439 and 442 is, is we see a couple of those high grade intervals and hopefully that'll start widening out again and it could be a, like a second wave at depth. I'm looking forward to, you know, again, continuing the step outs at Homestake Silver towards uh, Homestake Main on that same structure and then defining out that, that lower zone if that, if that is the next step uh, we'll find out in this coming up drilling. And it's, yeah, it's just really helped us solidify our theory that that there is these low angle plunges along the structure. Sometimes if you drill above it or below it, you're going to see the mineralization, but it just won't be as wide and as high grade. So it's good to uh, help us focus in on, on that wider zone.